This is the first case in Michigan where an individual has been charged with violating the firearm safe storage law. Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton announcing a first criminal case filed under Michigan's new safe storage gun laws. Layton says this case stems from a two-year-old girl shooting herself on Valentine's Day. The man charged is her father. It happened at a home in Flint's. And Layton says two-year-old Sky is in critical condition. He also says the gun involved was not locked up or properly stored. And sadly, the outcome is a toddler fighting for her life tonight. The blood in the bedroom floor was directly next to a small toddler sized folding chair. Prosecutor David Layton detailing what was found inside the home on Clover Lawn, which is on Flint's north side. According to the investigation, two year old Sky shot herself through her right eye with a revolver. There were two firearms located on the bed in this front bedroom. One firearm was a revolver. The other was a semi-automatic pistol. Upon examining the firearms, both were unsecured and loaded with live ammunition. 44-year-old Michael Tolbert is charged with nine counts, including first-degree child abuse. In the child abuse case, we have to show knowingly uh, did something. Here, we just have actual specific elements that we can show had a gun, didn't store it properly, child was in the home, he was in charge of the child, child got her hands on the gun, and something bad happened. Democrat State Senator Kristen McDonald Rivett sponsored the legislation in Lansing to create the safe storage laws. Anytime a child is harmed, it is, it is a, um, it's a tragedy. And Honestly, I worry about a day that we don't feel devastated when this happens. As young Sky fights for her life, Michigan State Police remind people that these tragedies are preventable. Free gun locks are available at all MSP posts. Please do your part to ensure that guns in your home are secured and stored properly. Um, we don't want this tragedy to happen to another family. Michael Tolbert is in the Genesee County Jail and he has been arraigned. He'll appear in court next week. Little Sky remains in the hospital where doctors say she will sadly lose her right eye. There is a GoFundMe set up for the little girl and her family. We have a link on our website at michigannow.com.